system works. Air is pumped into this diaphragm and it pushes the push rod over here which engages the automatic slack adjuster which engages the camshaft which forces the lining apart against the brake drum. So we come over here and we can see the S-cam, S-cam shaft, come over here to the splines, we're looking for anything that's clear. Now this should have been cleaned off, but since this is just a trainer for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Now when this thing is fully assembled and you're testing it, the operation of it, to make sure the two bushings that are inside of here are working correctly, you have a dial indicator set up. What you're doing is you're checking the wear in the bushing, pushing this up and down. It should be no more than 30 thousandths of an inch. If it's anything more than that, the two bushings need to be replaced. Over here is the automatic slack adjuster itself. You can see where the splines on the S camp shaft ride, right inside of here. Now this is where the uh, brake chamber hooks up, and all operation is pushing in and out in such motion. That's all. And again, if you're looking for any excessive wear, cracks, broken pieces, bent sure that it has been properly serviced at intervals usually only when the lining has been replaced. And you should double check the stroke length and the automatic slack adjuster. Other than that, it's just regular servicing, greasing the serves, making sure the grease comes out where it's supposed to. And come over here to the brake lining itself. I'm trying to keep my hands clear because you don't want any grease or anything on brake linings because that will foul them up and cause poor stopping issues. Now usually the minimum is uh, 5 sixteenths. Quarter, I'm sorry, quarter. Now it's pretty simple. You see a raised and lowered area right here. When it reaches this lowered area, you need to be replacing the linings. Now this is worn unevenly, that could be improper brake torque, improper brake adjustment. But since once again this is a trainer, we're not going to worry about that too much right now. Come over here, once again, checking for birds, cracks, anything missing. When you do service the brakes, obviously be getting new pins or new springs, I'm sorry. Rollers on the opposite side of where the uh, this rides. You already checked this for excessive wear. We're going to do the same thing for this side. Grooves, cracks, burrs, anything of that nature. We're going to do the same thing we just did for this brake lining to this one. Same thing. Check. Make sure it's quartered. Make sure there's no uneven wear. You are expecting it. And 
over here is the drum. And it's pretty handy. Let me find it real quick. It's printed right on the side. The max diameter of this is 16.62 inches. Now as these are uh, in service, obviously it gets worn away with the lining and they expand and contract with the heat. And it's breaking closets, which can lead to the formation of cracks inside the drum. I don't know if you can see that, how well you can see that, but some heat stress like this is normal. But when they start coming together and forming long cracks, or if it reaches over or near 16.62 inches in diameter, it's time to be replaced. While you have the brake drum off, it's another good thing to check for out of round. Measure one direction and you turn the calipers or measuring instrument 90 degrees and measure across. They should be very close to each other so you're not out of round. Out of round, once again, you cross no braking issues and it's bad brake performance. It's really the premature wear of your brake lining and your brake parts. Thank you. 